again in my yearly quest to update the summer zoos thread this is our current build for summer summer gruel zoo it's gonna be focusing on uh, the one drops Tarka's commanding for the win which was probably one of the best uh, spells to come out for gruel zoo um, and uh, yeah it's just focused on just being as fast as possible uh, and as gruely creature as possible. You're gonna run a ton of creatures, more creatures than normal, so 27, some words, sometimes up to, you know, 31, depending on if you wanna do things like Vexing Devil. Um, you got Gore Clan Rampager, who's one of the strongest spells that you can cast for a zoo. Um, granted, it's a creature, and it's also an activated ability. So it gets around things like, uh, you know, things like, um, what do you call it, uh, counter spells. When the meta becomes more red, Gruul Zoo becomes a little bit better than than it is normally. When everything's like path based or or life gain based, you start becoming a lot worse. Uh, like when Junk was the best, but when um, things like Jund starts becoming better, you start becoming a lot better because you've got um, Tarkus Command to pump your team, uh, Mutagenic Gross to pump your team, uh, Gore Clan Rampager to pump uh, could become immense. You know all these all these cards that that are pump plus you know things like Vines of Vastwood on the side. Um, so and then you also get a chance to run things like Blood Moon, which ironically doesn't necessarily work with the red decks. Um, but yeah, so it's just this is just a proactive beat down fast strategy. Uh, moving on, let's see some games with Gruelzy. This is a fairly good hand uh, to start out with. That's three mana, which is maybe a slightly a little bit more than what you want. But it's pretty Gruul Zoo. The only way that this would be better is if we draw a... Um, something like a... Uh, a Burning Tree Emissary. Which, no, we don't. We draw a Goblin Guide. Goblin Guide's good enough. We'll go ahead and try it for the Goblin Guide right now. And if it gets bolted, you know, that's fine. Curd Ape is, is the better creature. Anyways. Island revealed. And if he decides to go for, to deal three damage to himself to get, um, you know, to get like a, a dual land or something, then I'm perfectly fine with that. Thought Scour. All right, so he's probably like a Delver deck or something. Which means that we're going to be hitting in for lots of damage over the course of this game now. Because now we have the option to cast uh, Curdy Ape, in which you do want to cast for new to, to modern. You do want to cast your creatures in second main phase, usually. It gives us the chance to keep up a, a, a Tarkus Command as well as um, Gore Clan Rampager. That's why I'm not even going to give it a chance here by cracking and him doing something with it. Rather just get in for some damage. We got a Scalding Tarn. Alright, so we're going to cast the first creature, which is going to be a Curd Ape. If he goes ahead and remands this, I'm perfectly fine with that. Second creature we'll cast will be a, a Wild Noctil. Normally, sometimes you want to cast the Tarmogoyf, but just because he might have a counter. He's very blue, obviously. It's better just to, to go ahead and um, sort of hold him back. If he puts out something like an angler to block, we can rampage over it very easily. It's not the end of the world. He's going to need to start using removal eventually, and if he's going to try to be quote-unquote clever by using removal on our turn rather than his turn, we actually are fairly advantaged by that point. Because we have nearly lethal with the Tarkas command right here. Inquisition. So he's probably more like a, uh, a twin or a um, let's see what he's got. Terminate. 
seems fine. He's got mana up that he could spell snare our Tarka's command. So we're not going to Tarka's command. We're just going to go ahead and probably Gore Clan Rampager here. We'll be doing 4 plus 4. That'll be 8. 8 take away. This will be... Ooh. Put him at 5, which will be nearly lethal with the Tarka's command. Plus then we can still put out a, um Experiment 1. I say that's fine. We'll put it on our least valuable creature. Second main, again, we'll be a little greedy with our, our cause we, we've got a back on his heels now. Put out a experiment one. Yep, and we just straight up win. Um, we had a Tarka's command next turn, which if we drew a land, let's see what we draw. Curd Ape. We could have played a Curd Ape, evolved E1, um, and then a Tarka's command. So it would have been two, two, and two swinging. They'd all get plus one, so it'd be three, three, three. That's nine, nine plus three as well. So it would be very unlikely that he can win. Um, we are aware that he's probably like a more controlling deck now, so we're going to go ahead and bring in the Vines of Astwood because that stops those. We're also probably going to bring in things like um, Path here. I'm trying to think what we bring in. We don't know if he's Delver. If, we was, if he was Delver or a twin deck, we would bring in things like, um, like Rending Volley. But I think he's probably more of just a control deck. So we could bring in Path over the Gore Clan Rampagers here, which I think are the smarter decisions. He's he's seen the Gore Clan Rampager, so it's not like it's going to be a surprise to him. Um, but the path allows us to stop some of his stuff. What do we take out for that? Probably two Atarkas. Seems to maybe be the correct call. The path here is going to be for Angler, or Tassiker, which I'm... 90% sure he's got, based on what he played. Seems like a keepable hand. Yeah, I can keep this. Well, the hope is that he plays like a, um, he plays like a, uh, not an instant, but something like Serum Visions. Yep, there you go, Serum Visions, just like we said. And that'll make sure that Tarmogoyf is big enough not to be burned out. If you guys don't know, Tarmogoyf the medi immediately upon trying to play a um, burn spell, Tarmogoyf would be for toughness and would not die. Let's see here. Let's go with this one. It's, uh, it's not my favorite to not be able to lead with a creature, but this is fine. Especially against a slower deck. We'll just bolt him. I would like to draw things that are not land, but... This is also fine, I suppose. Um, we're very likely to be remanded or mana leaked here. Spell snared. He let the Tarmogoyf live. I wonder if he's got a plan for it next turn or something. Um, maybe he's got like a kill spell that he wants to point towards it. Which is perfectly fine with Finds of Astwood. Alright, he is letting that live. We're going to play the Wooded Foothills, and we're going to tap for another Tarmogoyf.
mana leak is fine. I don't know why he didn't mana leak this guy, but that's fine. <clears throat> We're actually going to hold on to this fetch um, because I don't want him to vines of Astwood. And that's the exact reason why we're going to go ahead and do it like this. Grab a temple garden. Would I like to pay? Yes, I would. So that'll stop. He's lost life now and does not kill our Tarmogoyf. Our Tarmogoyf is grown. He's a big boy. And we win. He's complaining over there, but yeah, whatever. That's fine. Well, there you go. Gruel Zoo in a nutshell. Try to push out as much damage as fast as possible using a uh, big reliance on your creatures to get you there. Um, that's about it. Again, if you guys have any questions, make sure to talk in the zoo thread that we're posting this up to. We'd love to help you out. And remember... Always feed the animals.